Hey there, Vince here, and welcome to another Circuit Rewind Quick Bug Report. And what I have for you today is Doom. Yes, I'm going to do another video on Doom, because in the infinite quest to get Doom to run on everything, I present to you a device that Doom really hasn't ran on yet. Well, maybe. I don't know. Um, anyway, today we're going to get Doom running on Windows 7. Weird, don't you think? Shouldn't it or already had it? Well, it probably did. It probably runs like 50 different builds of it. But today, we're going to get a different build of Doom running on it. Because the build we're running today just came out a few months ago. It's the Night Dive Studio 2024 release of Doom plus Doom 2, and even though they call it that, it comes with a bunch of WAD files for a bunch of other stuff like Sigil. So if we take a look at the GOG page for Doom plus Doom 2, it says minimum system requirements, Windows 10 64-bit. And then it lists a bunch of specs, and um, I'm actually questioning this one specifically on the graphics cards because this appears to be software rendered, not GPU rendered. It shouldn't even matter. But, you know, I, I digress. That doesn't really matter. What really matters is the fact that this has Windows 10 64-bit edition, and I want to run this on Windows 7. Why do I want to run this on Windows 7? Subscribe to the channel because I have a box here, and there's going to be like 50 other boxes to go with this. Okay, maybe not quite 50, but a bunch um, that I'm going to be doing a whole series on retro gaming, specifically Windows 7 and older. So before I started the benchmarking, I wanted to get the software running because, well, it turned out that it didn't. So now I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm in the GOG launcher here, and I already have Doom plus Doom 2 installed. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go up here to the config button. I'm going to go to manage installation and go to configure. And right here we can see automatic updates, automatically update to the newest version. We want to uncheck this checkbox. If I go to show more versions, we can see that there's a bunch of different versions here. And it's cool that GOG actually allows us to manually select which version we want to uh, use from the different releases they've had over time. Specifically, I'm going to use version 2584. As I know that this version works, uh, the 2676 and newer right now do not work on Windows 7. So I'm going to go ahead and select that and hit OK. And now we can see up here that it is now updating, technically downgrading, uh, to that specific version of Doom. It's going to download the files and install them locally on my Windows 11 machine. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the config button, go to Manage Installation, and Show Folder. Here I can see all the files on my local machine. So I'm going to just select them all and go to 7-zip and add them to an archive. And I'm just going to put these into a Doom, Doom 2 zip file. And then just like that, I have a zip file that is now generated. And I'm going to go and put that zip file over on my Windows 7 machine. So now let's go over there and uh, start working with this. Okay, so I'm on my uh, Windows 7 machine here, Windows 7 Service Pack 1. I'm going to go to Downloads. And as you can see, I have my Doom plus Doom 2 zip file here. So I'm just going to go into this. And on the desktop, I'm just going to create a new folder. I'm going to do this pretty lazily right now. And I'm just going to create a Doom folder, open that up. Let's extract all of those files out of the zip file and put it into the uh, folder I just created on the desktop. All right, now that I have this on my uh, Windows 7 machine, let's close out of the zip file. And I'm going to try to run this game and see what happens. Huh, the program cannot start because this file is missing from your computer. Well, we don't need to worry about the file that it actually lists here. That's not too important right now. All right, so, so what we're going to do instead is we're going to go to the NuGet repository and specifically look for the Microsoft PlayFab, PlayFab Party CPP Windows file, and specifically version 1.8.0. This version is very important. A newer one will not work. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and download this file. All right, so now I'm going to go into my download folder. And I have this file, and it's a, it's a NuGet package. And what I'm going to do is right-click, go to 7-zip, and open archive. So don't open it. Use 7-zip specifically to open this as an archive. And it turns out this is actually just an archive. Um, so let's close out of the browser to get that out of the way. I'm going to bring this window up. I don't need the downloads anymore. So I still have my Doom folder open, right? Uh, what I'm going to do actually, real quick, is delete this partywin.dll file. That is the file that was actually causing that error message. And if we go to build native lib x64 release, you'll see that there is this partywin7.dll, specifically the 7 one. We're now going to copy that over into our Doom folder and then rename it and get rid of the 7 so it's just partywin.dll, like the one that we deleted. Uh, and now we should be able to go to Doom GOG. And just like that, we are in Doom on Windows 7. Apologies, I don't think I have audio recording for the game itself, so um, the best you're going to get is just a little bit of gameplay of video real quick. But anyway, as you can see, 
this is working perfectly fine. Like I can just go through here and just shoot things to heart content. There we go. And let's just go have some more fun right here. And all right. So if I go end game, quit, and as you can see, we're back to our Windows 7 desktop. Just like that, we have Doom, the new Doom from Night Dive Studios, working on Windows 7 despite them saying that it can't be done because of one and only one file. Granted, there's some more tweaks that need to be done and that hasn't been figured out for the current build, but at least this previous build, that's all you had to do to get it working. Night Dive Studios, it's on you. Like, you specifically triggered some flag that said, hey, we can't run on anything before Windows 10. And considering that like Doom has such a long history going all the way back to DOS before Windows 95 even came out, I think you have a little bit of responsibility to spend the afternoon to figure out the little tweaks you have to do uh, to get this working, because obviously it does. I've spent actually a couple hours playing with this tonight before uh, recording this video. So I, it would be really appreciative to those of us building retro rigs and especially retro land party rigs, <laughs> the project I'm working on, uh, to be able to do this a lot easier than having to hack your game or at least your version of the game. Um, and yes, I know there's plenty of other like GZ Dooms and other stuff out there. There's tons of other builds and I've played with a lot of them. Um, but this one specifically I wanted to get working because I don't know, I just like tinkering with things. But anyway, that's all I got for you uh, for now. And uh, subscribe because like I said, there's gonna be a lot of retro LAN party works coming up. And anyway, until next time, later y'all.